greens that are known as brassica. Now these brassica vegetables contain bioactives called ITCs. And these are the bioactives that are responsible for the characteristic flavor of brassica vegetables. Meet Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned Harvard-trained medical doctor, researcher, and president and founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation. His work has led to more than 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He is also a New York Times best-selling author of Eat to Beat Disease, The New Science of How Your Body Can Heal Itself, and Eat to Beat Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Do not disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have read or seen in this video. And so this was to discover that genistein found in plant-based foods could actually be anti-androgenic and they could cut off the blood supply feeding cancers. Really was a mind-blowing uh, discovery. Cancer a multifaceted and severe disease is marked by the uncontrolled growth and dissemination of abnormal cells. According to Dr. Lee, angiogenesis, the process of forming new blood vessels, plays a pivotal role in the onset and progression of cancer. Typically, angiogenesis is vital for life, supplying oxygen and nutrients to our organs. However, when this process becomes unregulated, it can support the growth and spread of microscopic tumors. The concept of using diet to starve cancer is based on the idea that certain foods can inhibit angiogenesis, effectively cutting off the blood supply to tumors. Scientific studies have demonstrated that nutrition can significantly bolster our body's natural defenses against cancer. By integrating specific vegetables with anti-angiogenic properties into your diet, you can adopt a proactive stance in disease prevention. 1. Chinese Celery Chinese celery. Now, there is actually a compound in Chinese celery that stimulates stem cells. That's so powerful that in China, they've actually approved this compound to treat strokes because it actually helps to regenerate the brain and create better blood flow. Dr. Li highlights the exceptional health benefits of Chinese celery, a popular ingredient in Asian cuisine, especially in stir fries. This variety of celery features thinner stalks and a more intense flavor compared to Western celery. Not only are the leaves, stalks, and seeds of Chinese celery edible, but they also contain numerous health-promoting compounds, including 3-N-butylphthalide. Since 2002, NBP has been used as a pharmaceutical drug in China due to its neuroprotective properties, particularly for stroke patients. It improves brain circulation, reduces inflammation, encourages nerve growth, and minimizes brain damage. A study by Suchow University in China involving 170 stroke patients demonstrated that those treated with NBP showed a significant increase in stem cells, which are crucial for brain recovery, compared to those who received standard care. By day 30, patients receiving NBP had 75% higher levels of circulating stem cells. This increase in stem cells also led to better blood flow in the damaged areas of the brain. These findings underscore the potential of the bioactive compounds in Chinese celery such as NBP, to activate stem cells and support the healing and regeneration of organs after severe medical events like strokes. According to a study in the Journal of Cancer Prevention, Chinese celery, apium graviolens, is highlighted for its health benefits, particularly its potential role in cancer prevention and fat burning due to its high content of apigenin, a natural flavonoid. The study reviewed various natural sources of apigenin, emphasizing its presence in Chinese celery, which contains approximately 240.2 micrograms of this flavonoid. The research indicates that apigenin has been associated with the induction of apoptosis, programmed cell death, in cancer cells, which is a crucial mechanism in preventing tumor growth. Specifically, the study discusses how apigenin activates pathways that lead to cell death in various cancer cell lines, including those from pancreatic and colon cancers. The implications of flavonoid intake, including apigenin, have been linked to reduced risks of several cancers, including ovarian cancer, as noted in a case control study involving 1,141 patients with ovarian cancer and 1,183 matched control subjects. This study found that apigenin intake was associated with a decreased risk. 2. Purple potatoes. I've been involved with 
you know, trying to develop better treatments for cancer, diabetes, heart disease, blindness, and all of those things take decade or more to actually um, come into fruition. But the nice thing about food as medicine, particularly what's informed by science, is that you can actually translate what you're learning that's based on science into action pretty much right after you hear about it. And so that immediacy is something that's really a, a welcome change when it comes to health care. Purple potatoes, first cultivated in Peru and valued by the ancient Inca, are not only nutrient dense but also contain the bioactive compound anthocyanin. This pigment, responsible for their striking color, is also found in many dark berries. Dr. Lee highlights the substantial health benefits of purple potatoes, particularly their potential to combat cancer cells and aid in fat loss. Researchers at Penn State University studied the effects of purple potatoes on cancer stem cells. In their research, they fed mice predisposed to colon cancer the equivalent of one Purple Majesty potato daily for a week. They compared these results with those from an anti-inflammatory drug, Sulindac, which is known to suppress colon polyps and cancer development. After one week, the mice that consumed purple potatoes had 50% fewer tumors. Microscopic analysis of the colon tissues showed a 40% increase in the destruction of colon cancer stem cells compared to the control group. Further investigations revealed that the cancer stem cells in the purple potato-fed mice were deprived of critical survival factors. Exposure of these cells to a purple potato extract resulted in a 22-fold decrease in their aggressiveness. Importantly, the cancer-fighting properties of purple potatoes were maintained regardless of preparation method, whether baked, diced, or freeze-dried. According to a study published in Oncology Reports, purple sweet potato anthocyanin has been studied for its health benefits especially its ability to fight cancer and help with burning fat. The researchers wanted to find out how purple sweet potato anthocyanin affects bladder cancer cells. They used different tests to see what happened when they treated these cancer cells with purple sweet potato anthocyanin. One test checked how many cancer cells were still alive after being treated with different amounts of purple sweet potato anthocyanin. Another test looked at whether it caused the cancer cells to die and how it affected their growth. The results showed that purple sweet potato anthocyanin significantly reduced the number of living bladder cancer cells, meaning that higher doses led to more cell death. The researchers found that more cancer cells died when treated with purple sweet potato anthocyanin compared to those that were not treated. This was linked to the activation of certain genes that help cause cell death, while the levels of genes that prevent cell death went down. Additionally, purple sweet potato anthocyanin slowed down the process that allows cancer cells to multiply, which is important for stopping cancer from spreading. The study also found that it affected a key signaling pathway that cancer cells use to survive and grow. If you found value in this video so far, please subscribe and leave a comment to support the channel. 3. Sauerkraut I generally tell people that the wisdom of the Mediterranean diet or the Asian diet it's pretty much on track. So if you can find something healthy that you like that you would cook yourself um, with whole foods along those genres, you're probably getting something that's good for your gut uh, microbiome. As importantly, though, I think if there are things that we need to be cautious about in addition to antibiotics. I think the ultra-processed foods with a lot of food additives, food coloring, artificial preservatives, artificial flavorings, these are the sneaky things that most of us don't realize we're putting into our shopping carts things that are starting to be discovered that could injure your gut microbiome. Sauerkraut, celebrated for its tangy and savory taste, is a versatile and probiotic-rich food often used as a condiment. This traditional dish is created by fermenting finely shredded cabbage with lactic acid-producing bacteria, like lactobacilli. Originally from China, it spread to Eastern and Western Europe via trade routes and became a staple in Slavic and German diets. Just one cup of sauerkraut can contain up to 5 trillion beneficial bacteria, making it a potent probiotic. Dr. Lee highlights the notable health benefits of sauerkraut, particularly its potential to fight cancer cells and promote fat loss. During the fermentation process, a variety of bacteria initially colonize the cabbage. As the environment becomes more acidic, Lactobacillus plantarum emerges as the dominant strain. This beneficial gut microbe, commonly found in commercial probiotics, is known for triggering an anti-inflammatory response in intestinal stem cells, 
fermenting cabbage also produces bioactive compounds such as glucosinolates. These compounds are broken down by bacterial enzymes into isothiocyanates, which have anti-angiogenic properties. This means they can prevent the growth of blood vessels that supply tumors, effectively targeting cancer cells. Research from the Natural Resources Institute of Finland shows that sauerkraut contains higher levels of isothiocyanates compared to raw cabbage, boosting its cancer-fighting potential. Besides its probiotic and bioactive advantages, sauerkraut is rich in dietary fiber, which supports a healthy gut microbiome. Adding sauerkraut to your diet can be a delicious and effective way to enhance your body's natural defenses against cancer and aid in fat loss. According to a study in Global Advances in Health and Medicine that looked at the health effects of sauerkraut, there are several potential benefits. The study reviewed 139 publications from 1921 to 2012, focusing on how sauerkraut affects health. Out of these, 23 studies specifically looked at its impact on human health, including its role in digestion and disease risk. Sauerkraut contains important compounds like glucosinolates, ascorbogen, and ascorbic acid, which may help reduce DNA damage and lower the risk of cancer. The amount of these beneficial compounds in sauerkraut can change based on how the cabbage is fermented. For example, research found that using less salt during fermentation can increase the levels of ascorbogen, particularly in cabbage harvested in winter. When it comes to weight management, sauerkraut is low in calories but high in fiber and vitamins, which can help people feel full and satisfied. This means that including sauerkraut in your diet might help you eat fewer calories overall, which is important for maintaining a healthy weight. 4. Broccoli You know what's in a broccoli? It's actually something called sulforaphanes. Uh, and what these do is activate your immune system. They help your antibodies in your nose and your mouth resist viruses from the outside. When you bring them in, their immune system knocks them right out. And this is actually what's in a broccoli, sulforaphane. All right. You think that there's uh, sulforaphane in the top? You are right in the florets. But guess what? There is twice as much sulforaphane in the stalk. So when you go home and you buy this broccoli, do not throw the stalk away. Go ahead and chop up the stalk. You can put it into a blender, make a soup out of it. I love broccoli, stem, and oregano soup. Dr. Lee emphasizes the impressive health benefits of broccoli, a member of the brassica family, which includes vegetables like broccoli rabe, bok choy, cauliflower, and romanesco. Originating from Italy, broccoli is rich in powerful anti-angiogenic compounds such as brassinin and sulforaphane. Consuming one to two cups of broccoli weekly has been linked to a lower risk of various cancers. Studies from institutions like the University of Chicago, University of Minnesota, Harvard University, and the U.S. National Institutes of Health have demonstrated that eating broccoli can reduce the risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma by 40%, lung cancer by 28%, breast cancer by 17%, ovarian cancer by 33%, esophageal cancer by 31%, prostate cancer by 59%, and melanoma by 28%. In addition to its cancer-fighting properties, broccoli provides significant DNA protection. Researchers from the University of Milan and the University of Copenhagen studied the effects of broccoli on young male smokers, a group particularly susceptible to DNA damage from reactive oxygen species produced by smoking. Participants in the study consumed 1.3 cups of steamed broccoli daily for 10 days, resulting in a 23% reduction in DNA damage according to blood tests. However, once participants stopped consuming broccoli, their DNA damage levels returned to pre-study levels highlighting broccoli's role in protecting DNA and promoting beneficial epigenetic changes. Broccoli sprouts, which are three to four day old seedlings, offer even more concentrated benefits, containing up to a hundred times more sulforaphane than mature broccoli. When chewed, these sprouts release the enzyme myrosinase, activating sulforaphane. This compound boosts immune function, as shown in a study by the University of North Carolina, Stanford University, and the University Children's Hospital Basel. Participants who drank broccoli sprout shakes had significantly higher levels of immune-boosting NKT cells and showed better clearance of the flu virus from their bodies. A study published in Cancer Prevention Research looked at how sulforaphane, a compound found in broccoli, is absorbed by the body after people consume broccoli sprout extract. The researchers worked with 17 melanoma patients who have a type of skin cancer to see how well sulforaphane entered their bloodstream. 
they found that after consuming the broccoli sprout extract, sulforaphane levels in the blood increased significantly, showing that it is effectively absorbed and may have beneficial effects in the body. The study suggests that sulforaphane could be important for preventing and treating cancer because it can influence how cancer cells behave. It has been shown to encourage cancer cells to undergo a natural process called apoptosis, which is when cells are programmed to die, and it can also help slow down the growth of tumors. This supports the idea that eating broccoli and its sprouts regularly could be a natural way to help reduce the risk of cancer. Additionally, sulforaphane may help with weight management by boosting the body's ability to burn fat. Research suggests that it can enhance the activity of genes involved in fat metabolism, which could help reduce obesity-related health risks. Broccoli is also rich in antioxidants, which protect the body from damage caused by harmful molecules. 5. Kale Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs. They uh, create sulforaphanes and the things that make broccoli thick tastes kind of sulfury, uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation, good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has rich dietary. Dr. Lee emphasizes that kale's reputation as a superfood is well-deserved due to its exceptional health benefits. This leafy green is packed with unique and powerful phytochemicals that promote longevity and protect against serious chronic conditions like heart disease and cancer. Kale's remarkable properties have earned it a place on the American Institute for Cancer Research's list of foods that fight cancer. It contains several potent anti-angiogenic compounds, including brucinin, indole-3-carbonyl, quercetin, lutein, sulforaphane, and caemphorol, all of which contribute to its cancer-fighting properties. Among the various types of kale, cavolo nero, also known as black cabbage, lacinato, tuscan kale, or dinosaur kale, is particularly noteworthy. This dark-leafed, greenish-blue-black variety is available in late fall and winter markets in North America and Europe, and is a staple in traditional Italian recipes like minestrone and ribolita soups, known for their hearty, health-boosting ingredients. When selecting kale, opt for bunches with intact leaves and firm stems. Remove the leaves from the fibrous stems, chop or shred them, and prepare them in various ways, steamed, blanched, sautéed, or added to soups, stews, pasta, or rice dishes. Properly cooked Cavolo Nero becomes tender, turning almost black, with a robust flavor and a mild, sweet aftertaste. Kale's health benefits stem from its unique antioxidant compounds. Glucosinolates found in broccoli, kale, cabbage, and cauliflower have strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. These sulfur-containing compounds are activated by chopping or chewing and by the healthy bacteria in the gut. Interestingly, red kale contains higher concentrations of glucosinolates than green kale. Phenolics, including caffeic acid, act as potent antioxidants and can slow cancer cell growth. Polyphenols, which are slightly more complex compounds made from multiple phenolics, have a prebiotic effect, fueling healthy gut bacteria. Red and purple kale contain anthocyanins, the same antioxidant compounds found in blueberries. Chlorogenic acid, a major compound found in both coffee and kale, may reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes by improving glucose metabolism. The AICR identifies coffee, rich in chlorogenic acid, as potentially protective against liver cancer. Quercetin, a well-studied flavonoid, acts as an antioxidant, neutralizing free radicals and reducing inflammation. It is also found in onions, apples, cauliflower, and lettuce. Quercetin has potential anti-inflammatory effects on endometriosis. Lutein, a carotenoid found in kale and egg yolks, is known for its antioxidant properties and its role in supporting vision as we age. Egg yolks are one of the few naturally occurring sources of vitamin D and contain lutein. Incorporating kale into your diet, whether through traditional recipes or modern dishes, can provide a multitude of health benefits, from cancer prevention to supporting vision and reducing inflammation. According to a study published in Molecules, Kale and wild cabbage offer significant health benefits, particularly due to their rich content of natural compounds known as phenolics. The researchers aim to explore these benefits by analyzing the extracts from these plants to see how they might help with cancer prevention and fat metabolism. They found that both kale and wild cabbage are packed with phenolic compounds, 
which are recognized for their positive effects on health. Among these compounds, synapic acid was the most abundant, followed by ferulic acid, while wild cabbage had higher levels of synapic acid, and kale contained more of the compounds camphorol and quercetin. The study also measured the antioxidant activity of these extracts, revealing that both kale and wild cabbage have strong antioxidant properties. This is important because antioxidants help protect the body from oxidative stress, which is linked to various chronic diseases, including cancer. Furthermore, the researchers discovered that both extracts could inhibit the growth of HeLa cells, a type of cancer cell, at certain concentrations. Notably, wild cabbage was effective at a lower concentration than kale, and importantly, these extracts did not affect the growth of normal skin cells, indicating that they selectively target cancer cells. The authors of the study suggest that the cancer-fighting effects of kale and wild cabbage may be due to their high levels of polyphenols, which have antioxidant and potential anti-cancer properties. They highlight that while other compounds in these plants, like glucosinolates, are often credited with anti-cancer effects, the polyphenols also play a crucial role. 6. Kimchi over thousands of years, uh, kimchi itself has become such a tradition that it's actually developed its own special kimchi bacteria. So uh, one of these kimchi bacteria actually fights viruses and can actually lower the uh, incidence of flu. Dr. Lee highlights the health benefits of kimchi, a staple in Korean cuisine known for its delicious and spicy mix of fermented vegetables like napa cabbage, radishes, scallions, chili peppers, garlic, ginger, and jayotgal, a fermented seafood product. The term kimchi is derived from gimchi, a Korean word meaning submerged vegetable. Traditionally, kimchi is prepared by placing the vegetables in a ceramic pot and burying it underground to ferment. With more than 160 varieties, kimchi is typically served as a side dish in Korean restaurants and can be found in Asian grocery stores. Kimchi is a powerful natural probiotic similar to yogurt, and is packed with beneficial bacteria that support gut health. Some of these bacteria are also present in a healthy human digestive system. Researchers in Korea have identified a new type of bacteria in kimchi that produces vitamin K2, which is essential for heart and bone health. Additionally, kimchi contains propionic acid, which can lower cholesterol, reduce inflammation, prevent artery blockage, and improve digestion. Studies have shown that kimchi extracts can kill cancer cells in the colon, bones, liver, and even leukemia cells. Furthermore, certain bacteria in kimchi provide protection against the flu. In a study conducted by Aju University in Korea, 21 middle-aged individuals with prediabetes and metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions increasing the risk of heart disease, were examined to see if kimchi could improve their health, and to compare the effects of fresh versus fermented kimchi. Participants were divided into two groups. One consumed freshly made kimchi, and the other consumed fermented kimchi for eight weeks. Fresh kimchi had fewer bacteria compared to fermented kimchi. The results showed that the group consuming fermented kimchi experienced more significant reductions in body fat, body fat percentage, and blood pressure than those eating fresh kimchi. They also processed sugar better, with a 33% improvement in glucose tolerance compared to before they started eating kimchi. Another study by Dongguk University in Korea focused on 24 overweight women who consumed either fresh or fermented kimchi daily for eight weeks. The group eating fermented kimchi showed notable health improvements, including a 5% reduction in body fat. However, it is important to be mindful of kimchi's high salt content, which means individuals with high blood pressure or a high risk of stomach cancer should consume it in moderation. According to a study published in the Journal of Cancer Prevention, kimchi, a popular Korean fermented dish, is gaining attention for its health benefits, especially in preventing cancer and helping with weight loss. The study looked at the beneficial bacteria found in kimchi, particularly Wysela sibaria and Lactobacillus plantarum. The findings suggest that kimchi is packed with good bacteria that may help prevent cancer. For instance, Extracts from kimchi that had been fermented for three weeks were shown to slow the growth of certain cancer cells, including those related to stomach cancer and leukemia. The study found that these cancer cells were more likely to undergo a process called apoptosis, which is a natural way for the body to get rid of unhealthy cells. Additionally, 
the study explored how kimchi might aid in weight management. The fermentation process creates beneficial compounds that could boost metabolism and help burn fat. One ingredient in kimchi, capsaicin from chili peppers, is known to increase energy expenditure, although more research is needed to fully understand how it works. According to a study published in the journal Applied Sciences, researchers explored the health benefits of organic kimchi, particularly its potential to fight cancer and aid in fat burning. He differences between standard kimchi, commercial kimchi, anti-cancer kimchi, and organic anti-cancer kimchi, primarily revolve around their ingredients, preparation methods, and health benefits. Standard kimchi is typically made with basic ingredients such as napa cabbage, radish, garlic, ginger, and red pepper powder, often including fish sauce or other seasonings. It is fermented using traditional methods without a specific focus on health benefits beyond general probiotic properties. In contrast, commercial kimchi is produced on a larger scale for mass distribution, which may lead to the inclusion of preservatives or additives to enhance shelf life and flavor. While it still offers some probiotic benefits, these additives can reduce its overall health benefits compared to more natural options. Anti-cancer kimchi is specifically formulated with ingredients believed to have cancer-fighting properties, such as certain vegetables, herbs, or additional functional ingredients like mushrooms or seaweed. This type of kimchi may involve specific fermentation techniques or the addition of probiotics known for their health benefits making it designed to promote health benefits related to cancer prevention. On the other hand, organic anti-cancer kimchi combines the benefits of being made with certified organic ingredients, meaning no chemical fertilizers or pesticides were used, with the anti-cancer focused ingredients found in anti-cancer kimchi. It emphasizes organic farming practices and may utilize specific strains of beneficial bacteria for fermentation. As a result, Organic anti-cancer kimchi is likely to provide the highest levels of antioxidants and health-promoting compounds, appealing to consumers seeking both organic and health-focused food options. The study focused on a specific type of cancer cell, known as HT29, which is used to understand how cancer grows. They found that the organic anti-cancer kimchi, OAK, had the strongest ability to neutralize harmful free radicals, which are linked to cancer development. Moreover, OAK was shown to significantly slow down the growth of cancer cells compared to the other types of kimchi. This effect was attributed to the organic ingredients and specific beneficial bacteria used in the fermentation process. The study also examined how oak affected certain genes related to cell death in the cell cycle. It was found that oak reduced the levels of a gene that helps cancer cells survive while increasing the levels of genes that promote cell death. This means that OAK not only encourages cancer cells to die but also prevents them from multiplying. Further tests confirmed these findings, showing that OK led to a decrease in survival signals for cancer cells and an increase in signals that trigger cell death. Overall, the study highlights the potential of organic kimchi as a healthy food that could help prevent cancer and support weight loss. By using high-quality ingredients and specific fermentation methods, Organic kimchi may offer significant health benefits, making it a valuable addition to a balanced diet. You can purchase organic kimchi from various sources. Local health food stores and organic markets often carry a selection of kimchi products, including organic options, typically found in the refrigerated section where fermented foods are located. Additionally, Asian grocery stores frequently offer a variety of kimchi, so it's worth looking for brands that specifically label their products as organic.